I did have a beer this year. So today what we're going to do is we are going to drive around the Grand Ledge, Mulliken, Lansing, Fold East Lansing kind of area and I want to take a picture of all of the places I've lived. Oh, okay. So that's what we're going to do today. But since I broke my charging cord, yeah. I will take your advice and we'll stop on in here to this gas station and see. Oh, it's worth a look. They nice. have a new I'm going to use their cord. bathroom too because I just now realize i got to go to the bathroom. Well, that works out great then. Yeah, it does. Do you have your mask? Yeah, I got one. All right. Let's mask it up. You bitch. Okay. We got our got our new charging cord because I, I just broke mine. And uh, we got some Duncan. These are very good. I should have got napkin. Yeah, I don't know if I have napkin left in here. I have one. There you go. It's all yours. Yeah. There better be filling in this. There it is. Oh, mm. you got a chocolate one. How's your lemon? Good? Very good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bad fast food. I had a couple pieces of toast and I, my stomach is full of nothing I know. Taste that bad. Oh. Bismarck's have always been good. So mom here is only going to eat half of her donut. Meanwhile, I just finished mine. Boston yeah, cream. well. And I'm on my way to the cooler. But I had two pieces of toast before this, you know. Mm. So I already got something last to me. Yeah. These things are amazing. Totally bad for me. But I don't ever eat this stuff. And I'll be all sugared out for the rest well, of the day. Well, it's such a rarity, you know. Right. Right. All right. All right. Now the sun is hiding behind the cloud. They said it was going to be fun. So, the first stop, we're going to go to the Grand Ledge Quadplex. Quadplex. And then we're going to go to Jefferson and Holbrook and Beagle and the high school. And then, and then we'll, yeah, on the north side, up towards the armory. Well, I know we lived in apartments for a short time. Yep. Outside of Grand Ledge. Yep. It was a little... Quad, then yeah. we lived on Jefferson Street. Because there was four units per building, I believe. Yeah, then we lived out on St. Joe. Yeah, we're going there, too. No, we don't. No, there's cops up there. Mm -hmm. Well, they're out early today. I pass all kinds of them flying by. Yeah. They're not really active. Besides, I like cops. They're just out there in case of accidents. Mm. I'm sure they're pulling people over, but I'll be able to do something really dumb. Or maybe I just passed some that were in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they were just busy doing something else. They, they might have been texting or talking on their phones or, you know. Now, I want M43. I'm going to want to keep going towards Grand Rapids, I think. Ah, well, actually, you want to go that way because... No, I think I want to go towards Grand Rapids. Take Saginaw. No, I'm not going to take Saginaw. I'm not going to take Saginaw. I'm going to take this to 43. Oh. Okay, I've never done that. I've gone down or, to Saginaw to take 43. Or, or whatever. Cause yeah, because 43 goes up 43. and down, right? Yeah, Walmart's is on 43. I don't know about Walmart and all that. Yeah, it is. All that's there. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like that stuff going into small towns. Right. Grand Rapids, hey, I don't mind. Okay. Not We're not mind. going to Grand Rapids, Mom. <laughs> I've just never gotten on 43 off from you. That's okay. And it, it's always the first. Always. 
lemon lime. Hello, vodka. pictures of the places that I've lived because you know after you get up to as many places as I've lived it's hard to keep track of them all yeah. <laughs> so I want to try and uh, get a snapshot oh, while, I've lived while so I remember many places in the south yeah I didn't take pictures so that, that's okay I'll always remember the beautiful cabin alongside the Tennessee mountains or Carolina yeah. mountains it would be more difficult for somebody like you who's lived in different states, but I've, yeah. you know, just lived here. So. Well, I never, I just didn't have a phone that took pictures. Well, there's and, that, too. And well, I wouldn't have. You, it I was a long time ago. None of us had phones that took pictures then. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Many years ago. Cordless. Just for feed yes. or seed? Yes. Okay. Because, you know, it's already dried up on the cob. Correct. Okay. Because if you let it dry when it's wet and you clump it all You'll together, get it gets moldy. Yeah. Right. And it rots. So if you let it dry on the stalk. Yeah, because it just don't cut in fields. They yep. Want there. Exactly. Yep. Oh, good deal. But then they can store it all winter and use it for grain, for everything. Yeah. Now these are good. I have them once in a 
blue moon. It's like having pot because it's got all the fizzy in it. Yeah, I'm not a fizzy person. I don't care for carbonation. That's all right. Oh, here's the armory. I have gray siding, though. No, I think they were green before. Yeah, because that's, that's something different. <coughs> that, that, that updates. And I think we lived in the third one down, correct? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because like, you walk in the front door, and it's all open right there. So living room, dining room, kitchen, and then two bedrooms. At one point in time. Yep. I put one on that end. See how the bedroom is. So we lived in one of those. And then this field across here, uh -huh. this where it's all grass, used to be tall weeds. It was. And in that field that used to be tall weeds, um, there was somebody I believe got upset with their significant other at one point in time and Hi. Um, she's like, what are these people doing? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Take a pictures of my place here. Yeah, long, um, long time ago. All their trash sitting out there in front. Uh, no, I know, that's okay. Like, I like the little guy out there looking like he's getting ready to go fishing or something. Yeah. I don't know those statues. But in that grassy area that was just a field of tall weeds, somebody had thrown out, like, frisbees. A couple hundred 45s. And for those of you who remember what 45s were, yeah. as kids, that and was records. fun for us to go out there and find these things and see if they would play because a lot of them ended up scratched because they get in the grass, they were in there for a long time and they get stepped on or broken or whatnot. Um, but yeah, because we did have a record player that played 45s and 33s. Yeah, yeah, but they had 45s out there, so that was kind of fun. Well, there wasn't much energy. It's right off the it's freeway. Great. Right. Yeah. Now we're going to Jefferson. Now we're going to Jefferson. Yeah. Our main drag streets. Well, it was really something, you know, when when uh, Linda and Chuck were, bought the house and they tore all that stuff out that I had cleaned, that I had refinished. Save the oak wood. They tore it all out and put it outdoors. It was trash. There's the river. Interesting to see what kind of sighting anybody has on that the house. No. Baseball diamond down there. Yep. They used to flood that and kids would ice skate in there. Yeah, we would ice skate in there. It was, and that little warming house was really nice because that was that was awesome to be able to just jump in there and get warmed back up. Well, they put some new siding on some of these homes and perked them up a bit. Well, you know, it's been forty years, well, it's forty-five know. years, I know. or more. Yeah, more than but that. what it does to a house. <laughs> I know. And some of these houses are a hundred years old. Mm -hmm. They're, they're so neat. It's a cute little town. Oh, they're, Halloween's done and over, folks. Yeah. I was telling somebody the other day, I said, yeah, it's 73 out here today, and it's supposed to be nice you know, today again. Yeah. But, you know, then it's going to drop down in the 50s, and then more than likely, everyone's going to have pine trees with lights on them in their house the day after that. Yeah. Because that's what people do. So here's the next house that we used to live in. Yeah. That's it right there. 618. Yes, it is. 618 West Jefferson. Yeah. And then next door, uh, used to go over there and visit with them. Yep, and those nice those people. are the people who next door who sold us the property out on St. Joe, the four and right. a half acres. It was an older couple and they were very nice. They, they and across the street here in this little white house is where the babysitter used to live. Yeah, well Mindy, that's what Mindy was looking after. The 
old furniture factory back there looked like somebody had been cleaning it up. Yeah. Did you see the general store across the street? No, I didn't. It looked abandoned. Yeah. Well, it was abandoned when we were when I was little. There was no one using it. That building right there, I believe, used to be the party store. And they had some really good candy. Like a marathon bar. It was like a braided caramel that was covered with chocolate and it took you forever to eat it. And now, we're gonna head down here. 